Because the blitz is coming through clean, the soft squat's able to play both the flat and the vertical route. And you see right there, it throws a pick. What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be going over two super glitchy zones that you guys need to start utilizing in Madden NFL 20. The first one I want to talk about, and we're going to go ahead and go in gun trips tight end, is the three wreck hook. The three wreck hook you can find in three, four bear of the cover three, or any variation of a blitzing cover three. For example, where did it go? Will buck three press, as well as cover four quarters, cover four palms, but not cover four drop or cover four drop toe two. You can also find this in cross three fire, and then as well as crash through blitz. I want to say there's one more edge blitz three, and I think FS zone blitz. So any kind of blitz and cover three is where you're going to find this three or cook. So we're going to go into this cover three. And we're going to talk a little bit about this three or cook. First off, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and baseline. Well, notice, you guys will notice as we go into gun bunch that these two, Patrick Chung and Roberts, are going to switch. Chung's going to be in a hook curl. Roberts is going to be in a three or cook. You want your high zone covering safety to always play the three or cook. To get him there, it's just a simple baseline. That's what you want to do every single time is baseline so you can have a safety playing in a V3 rec hook. Now, in a trip set, like whether it be Gun Trey, Trey Y Flex, Trips Tight End, or Gun Trio, the 3 rec hook automatically recognizes the strong side of the offense. In this case, Trips is left, so it recognizes there's three receivers on the left side. So it's going to play the slot or innermost wide receiver. As we work our way into this, it's going to be more complicated and that innermost wide receiver is going to include a running back when we go into doubles. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and click off and I'll show you guys. I haven't changed anything. I just did baseline. I moved him over to help him play the slot receiver. And this is going to be playing Hardman. He's going to work his way towards Hardman, the slot receiver, and then back down to these two in routes ran by Tyree Kill and Sammy Watkins. So let's go ahead and snap this ball. You see right there, plays Hardman for a brief second, comes back down and plays those two in routes just as planned so this is how it's going to work in any kind of trips formation this also includes gun bunch so i'm going to hop off patrick chung and you're going to notice this time he's going to work his way towards travis kelsey back to the middle of the field and then ultimately is eventually going to match with that running back because there's no more threats that are coming across the shallow middle part of the field including a 10 yard dig route so he's able to match roll out with them and follow him so let's go ahead and snap this ball he's right there he works his way to travis kelsey and then works his way late back down to the flats because again there's no threat we're going to go and throw this away there's no threat to him in the middle of the field and he doesn't have to worry about the middle field and therefore is able to match with the running back to the flats so right here we'll go back into gun bunch i kind of want to show you guys what i was talking about if you guys have a non-baseline out there so you'll see right here roberts is now playing the three-o cook but with a simple baseline, we now have Patrick Chung playing the 3 out cook. This is how you guys almost always want it. So now let's go into a Max Protect Gun Bunch. You notice this time he's going to play slightly different because there's no three wide receivers that he has to deal with. There's no flat. There's no drag. There's no none of that. So let's go ahead and snap the ball. You can see right there he plays Tyree Kill for a brief second and then works his way to the outside but eventually comes back in. Again, he doesn't match anybody because there's no small threat, like there's no drag route, there's no little in route, there's no little slant that he has to concern himself. So he works his way back outside, after he works his way in, and then comes back to the center of the field. So if there's no low threat and there's only two wide receivers running routes, this is kind of where a three rook hook isn't going to play fantastic, but there's at least three wide receivers on one side, like a gun trips or a gun tray. It's going to be fantastic because he's able to play inside and then play in the slot and then work his way towards the middle of the field later in the play and we're going to go into a gun doubles now do keep in mind this is where it becomes more complicated to understand how it works i'm going to go let's just see if we can find a simple route let's go under seam that looks pretty good so i'm going to go ahead and do a baseline again i just want to make sure patrick chung is the one playing the three or cook but now take a guess where do you think the strong side of the field is in the eyes of the three rec hook? If you guys guessed the right side, you're correct. He's going to work his way from Travis Kelsey. Sorry, not Travis Kelsey. He's going to work his way to the running back, back to the middle of the field. So let's go ahead and snap this ball. It's right there. He plays running back just for a brief second. Comes back to the middle of the field, plays that little zig route and plays it just absolutely perfectly. Now that was a little bit of a broken play. You see there's a wide receiver coming across the backside, across the middle of the field. That's just because that by that point, the play 
broke down. There was nothing that was getting open whatsoever. And you can see right there how they three at hook plays. Now, if we go ahead and block our running back, it's going to change how it plays again. So let's snap this ball. You see this time he doesn't work his way to the flats. He just plays the zig route. And the zig route, for some odd reason, just kind of <laughs> kind of dumbs out. But you can see right there, because there's no threat in the flats, there's no third wide receiver running a route in that middle of the field. He doesn't have to worry about anything over there. And he's able to focus solely on the short routes coming across the middle, including drags, slants, ends, and zigs, or some people like to call it a whip route. So that's how this 3 rec is going to play against this situation. Again, if you're noticing them blocking the running back, you can pretty much leave the 3 rec hook to play a drag for you. And with shading, it's going to play even better. We'll probably cover that in a separate video, how shading affects 3 rec hook. Because right now, I want to go ahead and get into soft squats. I'm going to go into a simple old cover 2 sink. And we're going to go into gun bunch. Now, gun bunch... A lot of people, what they like to do is send a insane amount of pressure at you. This is where the soft squat shines. So first off, I'm going to go into, let's just audible into Miami Burt's and we'll snap this ball. You'll notice that the soft squat on the right side of the field where X is or Sammy Watkins is, is going to match because there's no flat threat at all to him. You can see right there, he matches, we roll out and eventually that soft squat comes back down to play the out route ran by the running back and passes off that vertical threat to the safety. Soft squats are, can be, are probably one of the more tricky things to play, and they can be really dangerous if you guys are playing some of the likes to go five wide against you, per se. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in this video, how you guys can go about utilizing a soft squat in five wide. But you see right here, let's go ahead and set this blitz up. And what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna go ahead and put Y on an out route. I'm gonna block my tight end as well. So we'll snap this ball, make sure I've got the blitz all set up, ready to go, ready to go. Snap it, and it's right there. Running back goes out, soft squat comes down, but by the time that soft squat passes off that vertical threat to the deep half, there's nobody open. We kind of got unlucky right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just try him on a wheel route and see how that, that should play it out a little bit better. Go ahead and set this blitz up. All ready to go. Last one, last thing. Snap this ball. And you can see that time, if we try to throw the vertical route, the, ver the soft squat's still there to play it. If we try to throw in the flats, that soft squat's gonna be able to come crashing down to play the flats. And you might get a yard or two, and if you're lucky, maybe three yards if you like to have the evasive or whatever that stupid ability is called on your running back where you can just juke him out. But you see right there, the soft squat's able to play both. Let's go into instant replay. I want to talk about this really quickly, what's going on. They don't block the running back. You can't throw the streak because the soft squat's still there. By the time you can throw the streak, you're getting sacked. Like, there's there's nothing at all that you can throw over there. Now, of course, you can hit this crosser into this wheel route and all this other stuff. But we're going to be focusing on this soft squat on the lone side of the field. This is a very popular thing you're going to see pro players doing is putting a soft squat on bunch side because they know the soft squat will play it long enough to where if they send the running back on a route that he's going to take a sack. And if they send a running back on a route, you see right here the soft squat by this point is already coming back down to play the threat in the flat anyways. Last year, something similar that people would do is have a cloud flat with cross man. This year, cross man doesn't work as well. And so this is something you're going to see quite often is a soft squat on the lone side receiver because if they go max protect and send this blitz you'll notice that the soft squat in this example is going to match the outside receiver you can see right there he matches that soft squat on the right eventually passes it off to the deep half while you might think hey i can just throw that wheel route the reason that it's not going to work too well is because that soft squat does pass it off that deep half and by that point the deep half is able to make a play on the ball and potentially pick you off you're going to notice against five wide this is really where it's going to start just having a struggle especially if they start putting it out route with the vertical so let's go back into this three let's go into three four bear pinch buck go i've got two soft squats on the field like this if you guys want the full setup for this blitz you can check out maestroman.com but anyways here's what we're gonna do on defense or offense to try and manipulate this i'm gonna go ahead and put x on an out route we'll snap this ball i'm just gonna worry about the left side of the field we're gonna go ahead and put whoever that is on a streak snap and you can see right there by the time again we try to throw it it's going to be absolutely smothered but we'll go ahead and try and look for rb so we're gonna to have to just throw it a little bit earlier than what we anticipate you can see right there because the blitz is coming through clean 
the soft squat's able to play both the flat and the vertical route and you see right there it now if you have i want to say it's last ditch or something like that you might be able to get it over the top but most people do not run that and this is why a soft squat is so deadly because if you're sending an insane amount of pressure at somebody a soft squat's going to be able to play both the flat and the vertical long enough to where if they don't block enough people then the blitz is just going to get home for example five wide you can play soft squats on the outside if they throw a vertical route out there it's going to play both of them just enough time for that blitz to get through and take a sack so this is a setup i might do against five wide i'm going to go and set this blitz up so this is a setup you could do against five wide keeping in mind that travis kelsey is still a threat but if they do put y and x on out routes and streak rb and b that soft squad's going to be able to play it long enough to where the blitz is going to get home quickly now you could always just use your van noy and just absolutely smother travis kelsey the options are limitless on what you guys could do but this is a way that you're going to be able to find yourself being extremely efficient and sending in a heavy amount of pressure while playing the flats and any kind of vertical threats that they do throw out against you now if they were to say go back into gun bunch try and max protect the soft squats then are going to change to a match principle behind it this is one thing that's very different about a cloud flat and a soft squat cloud flats do not match they will only follow for about 15 yards of vertical threat and then eventually just leave it so if they've got like 40 yards 50 yards to go for a touchdown that's so that cloud flat will leave and will not match and leave it wide open for a touchdown so this is why soft squats are arguably some of the best zones along with a three-year cook available in the game but with that being said this is how soft squats play again if there's a flat threat if there's a threat to the flats like an out route a flat route a whip route a drag route or just a simple smoke screen eventually that soft squat's going to collapse off of that vertical route and come back down to play the flat so there's some things you do have to be worried about when you're using this particular zone more specifically, if you're not forcing them into a max protect. So let's see if we can find like a spread, a two by two set, perfect. In this situation, they kind of convert to a cloud. So let's snap this ball right there. You can see, bam, we can hit that obviously. But if we pick up the blitz, the soft squats will convert to a cloud flat. So essentially soft squats and cloud flats as far as corners and how they play corners, they're gonna play basically the exact same. I'm gonna go ahead and drop these guys all into spy so you guys can just see how this blitz works and how this play works so right here i don't even know what did i just do whoops so we'll go ahead if i can get the controllers right put b and x back into soft squats go ahead and snap this ball he's right there they drop off and this is kind of where you're going to notice it's going to start to struggle because soft squats their assignment is always going to be play the flat route after leaving the vertical so this is kind of where they're going to struggle and this is where cloud thoughts are going to start taking over if you notice that they're going to do high low reads against you with a curl flat combo you're really going to need to start doing that otherwise if you guys are just putting soft squats on the field you have to send pressure you can't just send a three ram three man rush and expect a soft squat to play everything perfectly soft squats are primarily designed at least in this game for those that like to send seven or a heavy blitz at you for example let's go ahead send it and by the time we try to throw these little curl routes the soft squats are still there to make a play on the ball and we take a sack so with soft squats be careful about using them they can be extremely effective especially if you guys are playing against a gun bunch player highly recommend using them all the time against a lone side receiver you guys see right there also earlier how a three rec hook is able to play as what people like to refer to as a second user and that's simple because it's it's just so smart i can't tell you that three rec hook it relieves so much pressure off of you as a user so you can take care of other stuff and you can worry about crossing routes that you know are going to get open or any other kind of stuff you guys got to be concerned about so with that being said if you guys want a full defensive guide you can check out meisterman.com link in the description we're working on a full ebook covering gun bunch trips i did and all sorts of other formations with blitzes included check it out and until next time guys subscribe if you're new this has been t meister get in the lab see ya